Hello everyone and welcome to a quick STATA tutorial sponsored by the FHSS Research Support Center here at BYU. Today we're going to be talking how to combine and subset data sets using the merge command. Um, we're, there is going to be a little bit of typing in here but that is what the example calls for. So we're going to start off by using a data set from the web. So we're going to type in web use and it's called auto size comma clear and then let's go ahead and save this to your computer call it whatever you want but I'm just gonna call it the same thing um, comma replace if you happen to have already looked at this video and want to do this again and you want to save it next one is web use auto expense comma clear and then save auto expense All right, and then, so those are the two that we're going to be using. Um, let me just show you what one of them looks like real quick. So yeah, as you can see, we've got cars here. There's a price, miles per gallon. Um, the other one, um, auto size, just has um, details about the car's size and things like that. So let's actually go back to that one. Auto size, comma, clear. Let's take a gander. So here's the make of the car, here's the weight and the length. Now what we want to do is combine both of those because they're about virtually the same cars, combine them so that we have one whole data set. So what we are going to do, actually let me just list these so you can see them real quick. Boom, now you can see them. Okay, let me go back to the other one real quick. Okay, so now we're going to be using the merge command. And there's several different options. There's merge one to one, merge one to many, merge many to one, and merge many to many. Um, you can often find ways to use one versus another depending on how you want to merge things. What we're going to be doing is dealing with merging one to one because we have one Toyota Silica that we need to merge with this one Toyota Silica. That's it. Whereas if we had Several Toyota Silicas will be dealing with one to many or many to one. So, for now, we're dealing with one to one, and we are going to be merging based on the variable make. And so, as you as you see here, I'm using auto the auto size data set. So that's this one right here, and I'm going to be merging it with this one. But I'm going to be merging it on the make because I can't merge it on the weight there is no weight variable here whatever you're merging it with has to be on both data sets so make happens to be on both data sets so then we are going to be merging it based on making but we are going to be using the new data the other data set which is auto expense and so here you can see that there was one car that was not matched it was in the master but not in the using. So what that means is it was in, oops, sorry about that. It was in auto size, but not in auto expense. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Toyota Silica, Toyota Silica, BMW, BMW, Cadillac, Cadillac, Pontiac, Pontiac, and then uh, Datsun, I guess. Um, the Plymouth Arrow is not in the second data set. So that's what we've got. But five of them were matched. And what this right here means is, as you can see, it's created a new variable, <coughs> excuse me, called underscore merge. And if it's a one, that means it's from the master only. If it's a two, it's from using only, or the very the data set we were using. And if it's three, then it was merged because it had them both. So let's list this. And as you can see, we've got the entire data set now with weight, length, price, and miles per gallon and we can tell how it merged. These all matched, but this one had a master only, which is just weight and length, so as you can see, there's no price here. So now we have a more complete data set, um, but we can, we can drop the merge variable because we just, we just don't care about it anymore. I mean, you, you might like it, but I don't, I don't need it anymore. So now, we are going to be going to our do file and we're going to be using some preserve and restore commands so that we can 
separate this out because sometimes you don't want a data set with all of these variables or with you know all of these things so we are going to be typing in preserve and then we are going to be creating a data data set that only has certain variables we are going to be keeping make weight and length so that we can save this as a new size data set and then we are going to be restoring we're going to be doing that again preserve sometimes I just forget how to spell and we are going to be keeping make price and miles per gallon and we're going to be saving that as an expense data set this is great um, for different data sets if you've got a set of variables that you want to keep just for your um, data set that you're going to be working on like it's from a larger data set but you just need a couple variables um, this is also great um, if you if you want some people working on certain aspects of a data set um, but not have access to the whole thing things like that um, so we've got we're going to be saving a size and an expense data set so let's go ahead highlight those and run them and so what it's now done is it's gone through preserve and restore if you don't already know what it does preserve means it's going to keep this whole data set but it's going to put it in the background real quick I'm going to mess around with it so I'm only keeping certain data sets or uh, keeping certain variables saving them but when I restore I, I'm putting all of the data set back so keeping make weight and length is going to keep these two variables drop these two variables when I restore it brings them all back you can only use the preserve and restore commands simultaneously in a do file so here's my do file and I have to run them at the same time if I do preserve and then I run keep and then I run save and then I run restore restore is not going to do anything you have to run them simultaneously and so now let's take a gander at our size data set and see what it looks like so now as you can see we've got all of the cars as before and all of their weights weights and lengths I was trying to combine the words together so I got weights. Um, so now we want to look at our expense data set and we're gonna list that and here we now have all of the variable or all of the different cars but now we have Ply the Plymouth arrow which we didn't have before and since we didn't have it before it didn't have any data for price or miles per gallon but now at least it has a place so it can feel at home and that's what we've got for combining and subsetting our data sets it's a very quick tutorial on how to use merge and then how to use um, preserve and restore thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video